I'm Mari Cockrell, Communications Director for the City of Abilene, and this is my ABI on City Hall, the place to get the latest news and information straight from the City of Abilene. Anyone 16 years of age and older is now eligible to get a COVID-19 vaccination at the Abilene Taylor County Public Health District. Vaccine clinics are happening weekly. You can uh, take a look at upcoming vaccine clinics posted at the Health District and the City of Abilene social media pages, which of course does include our Facebook pages. Coming up April 10th, the Health District will be holding its first drive through vaccine clinic over at Shotwell Stadium. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine will be given at the drive through clinic, so that means it's just one dose and done, so no second dose needed. But also remember that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is only approved for individuals 18 years of age and older. Also new to all clinics is that they're no longer designated as first or second dose clinics. That means that you can get vaccinated at any of the clinics with no worry as to which dose it is for you. Schedule your vaccination appointment at abilenetx.gov slash vaccine schedule. We are just days away from the opening of the Abilene Zoo's new Madagascar exhibit. The all new section of the zoo will be open to the public with an official ribbon cutting at noon on Saturday, April 10th. Madagascar features all sorts of new animals, including lemurs, fusa and more. So just go to abilenezoo.org to plan your next visit. Keep Abilene Beautiful will kick off its spring music series Saturday, April 10th. Now, you may have helped out at KAB Spring Cleans before. Well, this year, they'd love to treat you to a free concert and afternoon of family fun, too. So coming up on the 10th, meet out at Kirby Lake from 1 to 3 for the spring clean. And after that work is done, you're welcome to bring a picnic or purchase something to eat from a food truck out there on site. And then from 3 to 7, enjoy musical guests at the Acoustic Music Affair along with volleyball, cornhole, a lot more out there, all for free. Register to volunteer for the cleanup at keepavilinebeautiful.org. The Spring Clean Music Series will also be a, a, at a different park every Saturday through the season. Well, we are at the beginning of a very busy season for the city's Parks and Recreation Division. So here to tell us more about that, what to look, look out for is uh, Alyssa Hartley. She's Recreation's Multimedia Specialist. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, good. <laughs> okay, so let's dive right in because yeah. uh, lots of events, but I want to also first touch base on uh, summer camps because yes. those are a huge help oh, to my parents goodness. and lots of fun for the kids. Oh, yeah, you have no idea. So we have summer camps that just go from June 7th all the way to August 13th. We have four different recreation centers, and then at each center, there's five different sessions yeah. and each session is two weeks so just it spans throughout the entire summer starts at 7 30 a.m 5 30 p.m so it's a full day of packed fun gym games activities going out maybe to some field trips like adventure cove um i mean the possibilities are endless and we have such amazing recreation staff yes. that they put themes together and so like there's a desert oasis theme or the Olympics or maybe even Christmas in July. So yeah. there's fun different themes to be a part of and it's open to children ages 6 to 13 and just for one session it's $85. Yeah. per child. That's two weeks for it's 85 weeks. bucks and yes. it's a full day. Yes, it's a full day, full of fun. There's <laughs> like a full schedule so it's not just parents dropping off the kids, see you later, hope you're doing something in the next eight, ten hours. Yeah. No, there's a lot of activities lot that they'll stay busy, they'll have fun, they'll be learning new things. I mean, it's a great way yeah. for the kids to spend their summer. Well, all day is awesome because lots of camps, when they when they break at midday, mm -hmm. it's, it makes it kind of tricky to be able to pick up. Yeah, and for take the parents. Yeah, no, this is perfect. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so look out for that. Um, also, okay, so let's get into Senior Center is reopening soon. It is. Yeah. It's super exciting. It's reopening Monday, April 5th. So we have, again, the four recreation centers. We have the Rose Park Senior Activity Center, the one in Cobb Park, Sears, and at Carver Park. Okay. So all of them will be reopening up to our seniors. Super excited for that to be bringing them yeah. back in. There's, of course, going to be the safety protocols, as always. We're sure. encouraging the social distancing, washing hands. Um, for those that they would like to, they can wear a mask. So it's, um, but we're just so excited to get the, yes. those programs back coming because the seniors have been coming to those daily lunches at Rose Park Senior Center, which has been wonderful. Yeah. But now we can open it back up so they can do some classes maybe or they could play pool or they could go to the exercise room so yes. and there's just excited. a community there too yes. my folks yes. go my mom goes and so they get to see their friends again exactly it's, really it's, it's wonderful yes absolutely um also reopening here we will have aquatics back which is yes. so exciting because we missed out of course on adventure cover last summer uh with mm -hmm. covid so mm -hmm. it's coming back oh yeah we're so excited for all of it just it's an exciting summer now it especially is. after it this is. past year we're so excited for all the things that are coming up so aquatics we're having our 
splash pads open April 24th. Five different splash pads throughout Abilene. We okay. got Nelson, uh, Nelson splash pad. We have Scarborough, Stevenson, Sears, and Redbud. Red Red Bud? Yes, yes, thank you. I was I was stunned Ooh. for a second. No, beautiful though. <laughs> but all of them are going to be open back up April 24th for kids. Um, pretty much all day, every day, because whenever the sun is out, you can expect people to be coming to yeah. the splash pads. And then Adventure Cove, that's opening May 29th. So okay. we'll be ready and excited. Uh, we're going through the process of getting those lifeguards and other staff. So it's going to be a great summer so for excited. sure. I, I missed know. Adventure Cove last summer. Yes. Summer. Um, let's say, okay, so as far as a couple of events coming up here mm -hmm. in the next couple of weeks here, uh, Earth Day Zoo Run? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so that's happening. We're doing something with the Abilene Zoo, which we're definitely looking forward to. It's the first ever Earth Day Zoo Run. Cool. And not only is it just going to be at Nelson Park, it's going to be a fun time because we're going to be running through the zoo. Oh, yeah, that is so, cool. Yeah, so then it, there's a 5K and a 1K. The 1K are, are for those that are 12 and under, okay. and then the 5K is for 13 and up. Okay. So a uh, little bit different there but still going through the zoo and it's going to be so much fun because we encourage costumes oh, so neat. like please dress up in your like maybe if you have a zebra costume or yeah. even if you want to dress up as a tree like that would be to celebrate earth anything. day anything yeah. fun yeah. anything outdoors wildlife um so then you can just go online and register for that race okay. you can look at it at abilenetx.gov slash sign up okay and yeah that's where you can get all that information for the earth day zoo run okay yeah and then last but not least we'll talk about this more but june 5th you got outdoor Abilene Outdoor Adventures, yes. And so for that one, we've been doing that for a handful of years now. We've partnered with Texas Parks and Wildlife in the past to just really encourage outdoor recreation, conservation, preservation, wellness to families in the big country. Gotcha. It's a free family event. Uh, we definitely encourage people to come because we have so many different activities. We have like kayak demos. We have people bringing their horses to wow. do like horse grooming. We have um, roping. We have all this wildlife identification, plant identification. I mean, you name it, anything outdoors, yes. it's probably gonna be there. And of course, the most important one is fishing because it's on the first Saturday of June, it's Texas Free Fishing Day, so you okay. can go out to any body of water, public body of water, and you can go fishing there. You don't need a license. Oh, nice. So let's say if you're kind of interested in fishing, but never went out to get your license and you just kind of want to try it out, this is the perfect event for yeah, you to come get to. Get started. Bring yeah. the kids out. Okay. Yeah. We'll talk more about that coming up and remind everyone, of course, but that's June oh, yeah. 5th. Yes, June 5th, awesome. it is. All right, you're a busy lady. Thank yes. you, Alyssa. We love what we do in Parks and Recreation. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Glad to have it back, finally. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Well, okay, be sure to follow our pages. We're on social media. We'll have all this. We'll also, my uh, Parks and yes. Recreation page. Yes. And uh, also uh, follow uh, City of Abilene as well mm -hmm. and get the latest news and information. So thanks for catching um, my ABI and City Hall. And again, just go to abilenetx.gov for the latest news and information from the city of Abilene.